What about you whiskey lovers and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Straight with me, Big Al. It's great to have the pleasure of your company once again. And today I'm having a look at a relatively new Irish whiskey. And here it is. It's the Lima Valley Single Malt, Single Barrel Expression. Uh, and this is the brainchild of Darrell McNally, famous master distiller from over here. He's been with Bush Mills and Dublin Liberties and he's been in the industry a couple of decades and it's what his family name is all about. Here's what he says. Lima Valley's original 1750 distillery belonged to my family until they lost ownership before prohibition. I made my own way in the whiskey trade. Working from the ground up, I went on to win gold 13 times. I think it might be a bit more than that now. It possibly could be up to 16. He goes on again. Now I am setting out to make my masterpiece to reclaim Limavadi name with a new legacy for Irish whiskey. It's a non-age statement. It's made from 100% malted barley. It's triple distilled in copper pot stills and it's matured in bourbon barrels and then finished in axe. Pedro Jimenez, sherry casks. Cost you around 40 to 45 quid per bottle and as it's a single barrel, you know, it could be a wee bit of variation from batch to batch. But this is bottle number 696 from 846 and it's barrel 110. It's bottled at 46% ABV and there's no information on chill filtration or colouring. But... I have read online in different places that it actually is non-chill filtered and naturally coloured, but if anybody can enlighten me, let me know in the comments down below. So now it's time to get right into uh, the whiskey itself and see what it delivers and is it as classy as that bottle as I said at the start. So if you happen to have a pour of this or something similar, please pour yourself a wee dram and we'll drink along together because whiskey is better shared. Slauncha, we'll start off on the nose. Right off, toasted oak, vanilla, caramel, all those classic things that you get from the bourbon barrel maturation. And then the influence of the PX casts comes into play as well, right on the, right on the back of that. There's dried fruits, sweet, sherry soaked sultana. And as well as that, I'm getting a bit of potpourri in here as well. And a touch of mixed spice. So it's got that nice combination that's coming from each uh, stage of the process, the maturation and the finish. And it is pretty nice nose. So onto the palate, don't you? An initial spicy dried dark fruits bite up front and then it mellows to chocolate like a vanilla latte uh, sprinkled with a bit of a hazelnut covering and a light dusting of cinnamon and even chocolate in there as well quite a lot going on there on that first sip and again as on the nose what we're getting here is that influence from both barrels and it really does deliver well because those flavors that I'm getting they're all pretty prominent there but there's none that does the other it's actually very very well balanced now it gets a wee bit sweeter again there's honey coming into play and there's a really malty taste and mouthfeel that just coats the entire palate. And then as it transitions from the front to the back of the palate, toasted oak, almonds, dried dark fruits, sultanas, plums, big bold flavours and they're kept alive in the mouth by that bit of cinnamon and sort of malty spiciness. The finish 
It's chocolatey, it's malty, there's coffee in there, dried fruits, some chopped mixed nuts. Again, it's very malty, it's mouth coating. And the finish does go on. Yes, it is a long finish. And the wee spicy kick keeps going right to the back of the palate. And that's what I think just lets it linger and linger and linger. So final thoughts. This is bloody nice whiskey. It's really good whenever you try something new. It's a new product and it's this good. At least it's been bottled at the 46% and that gives it that vehicle to keep those flavours going, keep them at a high level, very consistent, complex, a lot of character. And I really like this. I really, really do. In terms of a score, 90.5, really good stuff. So if you've had this, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. It's always good to hear what you guys have to say. And thanks once again for your support. Thanks to everyone for tuning in to this review. And until the next time, please look after yourselves, look after each other, and most importantly, keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Slodger.